before. I didn't watch any of the fights after. I was doing media after I saw Aljo versus TJ. I heard TJ's arm kept popping in and out. Yeah. I remember looking at one point, Aljo had his back. Aljo's a motherfucker, dude. He's a champ for a reason. Um, I wish I was so curious and excited for that fight because I want to see it play out. It's hard to take anything away from Aljo because he did what he needed to do. And, and, you know, it sucks for TJ. I'm surprised. It's like if TJ seemed like he knew oh he did his shit was gonna pop out he said it popped up 20 30 times in camp <sighs> so does that make him a warrior or does that make him kind of dumb if you're going against the top phantom in the world and i know you want to fight that fight but i would have pulled out i mean I, I just i mean that's your shot that's your chance but it's also like he's getting older what if it what if he cracks him does he think he's that much better than him that he only needs one arm I don't know. It's yeah. it's interesting. I guess the bantamweight is at a spot where it's at where it's you might not get another title shot. Yeah. Because there's so many high level opponents. But I, I was surprised, man. I was bummed that it we didn't get to see the full fight how it played out. Hats off to Aljo. He did like you said, he did what he had to do. I wish I could have seen a better fight. 